good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the Board of Trustees of the Columbus Metropolitan Library and on behalf of my colleagues and everyone at the library, welcome today. Uh, I will be brief as is our program because I know you can't wait to get inside and enjoy what awaits behind these doors. But how fitting is it on, we have a gorgeous day, bright sunshine, beautiful spring day in Ohio to celebrate the renewal of the White Hall Library. And many of you were here about a year, year and a half ago on a miserably hot, sultry summer day when the groundbreaking took place. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's just amazing the transformation that's occurred here from that day when we were out front looking at Broad Street and what awaits us here. So this marks the second new library for Columbus Metropolitan Library System and we have eight more buildings to go over the next few years. We have uh, many exciting activities planned for the day. Uh, everything is listed in your programs. Uh, I'd like to give special thanks and recognition to PNC, who brought their mobile learning adventure filled with many things for kids and families to enjoy. And the refreshments that you'll enjoy today are provided by the friends of the library. Building projects are indeed major undertakings and wouldn't be possible without the hard work of the Columbus Metropolitan Library's passionate and dedicated staff. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge there's many in attendance. They have uh, purple, I believe, to signify they're part of our staff. And if you would join me uh, in recognizing and applauding them for their dedication, their work every day. you'll find many more of our staff inside waiting for you to help you and to show you all the new and exciting uh, things you'll find inside the doors. Uh, we're excited to be uh, expanding here in the Whitehall community and uh, we'll hear from Shirley Freeman, the branch manager, about what this means and from Mayor uh, Maggard uh, in terms of what this development uh, brings to the library and to the city of Whitehall. There are many special guests here today. Again, they're listed in the program. I'd like to thank them for their continued support of our efforts throughout the library system. Uh, and those guests include State Representative Heather Bischoff, who is here in attendance today. I'd also like to recognize and thank our project professionals. Uh, they include Jonathan Barnes Architecture and Design, uh, Turner Construction, and our owner's representative, Pizzuti Companies. Finally, let me just uh, acknowledge today's speakers. Uh, they'll come up in order without introduction. Uh, first and foremost um, will be uh, Shirley Freeman, who is the uh, branch manager for the Whitehall Library, who's been here for, uh, excuse me for saying this, Shirley, more than 30 years for the Whitehall, for the library system. And you don't look at, look at it all, and people will recognize that. 21 years of age. <laughs> we really wouldn't be standing here today but for the uh, visionary leadership of our uh, president and CEO of the library, Patrick Lozinski, and you'll hear from Pat uh, in a few moments. Uh, his leadership uh, throughout uh, has been incredible, uh, especially um, uh, representing the family of Carol Snowden. I'm honored to recognize Carol's sisters who are here today, uh, Nancy and Susan Snowden. Uh, as well as her mom is here today. All three sisters are here today, actually. And you'll hear from two of the sisters later. <laughs> Whitehall City Mayor Kim Maggard, who is a longtime supporter of the library and a former uh, CML employee, uh, will say a few words as well. And we're honored to have you here today as well, Mayor Maggard. And uh, I'd like to invite now at this time Shirley Freeman uh, the Whitehall branch manager uh, to welcome you to her new home. Thanks very much. Enjoy the day. Good afternoon. I'm so thrilled to stand here today to welcome you to our new Whitehall branch. My staff and I can't wait to come to work each day in, in this incredible new building. Speaking of the staff, I want to acknowledge them and their passionate work. Without this group of people, our branch would be little more than a building with four walls and some books and computers. 
They truly make it a welcoming and thriving community center. For the sake of time, I won't read their names, but they are listed in your program. I'd like to ask that the Whitehall branch staff wave since they're already standing. Again, thank you all for being here to celebrate with us today. I am honored now to invite the City of Whitehall's Mayor, Kim Maggard, and the Whitehall School's Deputy School Superintendent, Mark Trace, and a few of our community's young minds to help unveil a special street sign that will be temporarily installed at our entryway off Broad Street for the next few months. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Today is an exciting and historical day in Whitehall. The opening of this new branch symbolizes so much more than just a place to check out books and videos. This new library represents a time of unprecedented growth in Whitehall. It is the coming together of civic and corporate investments and commitments that made today possible. We would be nothing without strong partners like the Columbus Metropolitan Library. And today is an exciting day for me as well. As many of you know, I've spent a, a, for, a portion of my career at Columbus Metropolitan Libraries. And I've had an inside view into what a totally amazing organization and professional organization this is. And I am proud as mayor to be able to support the growth of this library in our community. And grow it did. The amenities this building offers astounds me. From the Carol Snowden's children's room to the drive-up window to the Columbus State Community College Life Skills area and the ample meeting room. This branch will offer the community a fun and comfortable environment to meet, learn, and be creative for years to come. And I think the English poet Walter Savage Lander said it well. Nothing is more pleasanter than exploring a library. And I couldn't agree more, and I can't wait to explore this new community gym with you today. Thank you so much, CML. We love this, we deserve it, and thank you. Good afternoon. Greetings to all of you from the Snowden family. I am Nancy Snowden, Carol's sister. Our mother, Virginia Snowden, and sisters Peggy Murphy and Susan Snowden are also here to share in this great celebration of this gorgeous new Whitehall Library. We are very happy to be here with you today. 
Now, some of you may have known Carol, and others of you may not. Carol was the children's librarian here at the Whitehall branch for 30 years. As a librarian, Carol could enjoy and share her love of reading on a daily basis. The summer reading program and story hours were among the highlights of her days. Carol was one of those lucky people that truly had a vocation for the work that she did. In addition to enjoying her work here at the Whitehall branch, she delighted in visiting the seven schools that she was responsible for as a visiting librarian. Sharing the pleasure of reading was truly a mission for her. Years before she became ill, she shared with our family her wish to leave her money to the library for a children's and teens room. We agreed that this would be just great and expected this to happen at what we all believed would be some far distant time. Sadly, we lost her to ovarian cancer when she was only 57 years old in January of 2008. Near the end of her life, we spent hours with her brainstorming ideas for the children and teens room that she planned to endow. She was certain about some things and could only guess at what the future and future technologies might offer. We are convinced that this wonderful space far exceeds anything we imagined. Tuesday will be Carol's birthday. We believe it's more than a coincidence that the new building is opening this weekend, the one closest to her birthday, that there was a delay in completing the library until the weekend closest to her birthday, or not. We firmly believe this building, this wonderful building, and this terrific space are the best birthday gifts she could ever receive, and more importantly, share with you. We wish for so many reasons she were here today, particularly to see the good that her money has created. We know she'd be thrilled to see this lovely building and to contemplate the joy and the learning that will happen here in years to come. We've been frequently asked why she did this. Well, we know that she wanted the future to be better than the past. We know that she knew that the library is a place that can change lives. And we know that the Whitehall branch had a special place in her heart. As I look around today, I realize one person's thoughtful gift, what it can assist in accomplishing. It inspires me to think about the good that I can do with my contributions both now and in my estate. I hope it will inspire you too. Even now, Carol continues her mission to encourage the love of reading. I know she would love this place, and I hope all of you will too. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Pat Losinski. I'm the CEO of the library, and I'm thrilled to be here to help open the doors to your new public library. I think it's only befitting that we begin by thanking the Whitehall residents. You have supported us over so many years, including most recently in 2010 when, we, when you approved overwhelmingly our levy request which has resulted in the investment that you see here today. Well, I got quite a posse here with me, right? <laughs> um, but I'd like to thank some others who have made this day possible. I want to begin with our Board of Trustees, and, and their names too are listed in our program. 
the counsel that they provide to me and to the staff and the vision and commitment and stewardship to all library district residents is inspiring to us. Our foundation board, who you will hear in a moment, uh, has taken on an unbelievable task to, uh, to inspire private fundraising in this community. Thank you for your help. Our friends of the library, for their advocacy for quality library services in all the jurisdictions that we serve here in Central Ohio. And finally, our amazing and award-winning staff, especially our 2020 vision team, the Whitehall staff, but really all of the, de the departments that come together. There's no way this happens without everyone coming together in the team environment that we have here. Uh, I'm so proud of you, and I'm absolutely privileged to be associated with you, and I thank you so much for your efforts. I also want to thank uh, Mayor Maggard and the Whitehall City Council, the administrative team. They embraced one of the key strategies for our library that we call My Library, and that is to deliver the next generation library, and that's exactly what you're going to see as you walk through the doors. Uh, let me also congratulate the entire city of Whitehall, not only for your support and investment in the public library, but what we see happening with the uh, building of all new schools. You understand that the investment in education is key to the future of this community and others in Central Ohio. I'm so pleased that uh, Carol Snowden, Snowden's legacy is going to live on in this new branch through the Carol Snowden Children's Room. Her gift probably expanded what the children's department is by three times. It's bigger and bolder with more resources for learning and creativity, anything that we could ever have imagined. And in addition to Carol's generous and forward-thinking investment in this new library, fundraising efforts have been taking place for nearly two years in order to bring to life ten branches in this community. And while today marks the opening of our new Whitehall branch, I'm also pleased to announce that this is the first day of the public phase of our fundraising campaign. We know and you know that great libraries create bright futures. And we think the future looks incredibly bright in Whitehall and throughout Franklin County as we build 21st century libraries and transform communities and lives. Carol Snowden is one of many individuals, families, foundations, and corporations that have made early contributions to support our building program, and I can't thank these supporters enough. Our fundraising goal is lofty, $20 million, and yet I'm so proud to tell you today that through the quiet phases of our campaign, we have raised over $18 million and are within $2 million of our goal. The heavy lifting has been done and we can see the finish line, but we need the community to rally behind us for the home stretch as you have done so many times in the past. And so we invite you to check out our website, greatlibrariescreate.org, where you will find more information about how you can contribute to the final push to put us over $20 million. Great libraries create great bright futures, and when you step inside the new library today, I know you'll agree. Let's not wait any longer. I'm going to ask our ribbon cutters to step forward at this time to help us cut the ribbon and open the new Whitehall branch. Come around to the front please and we're going to have you face the audience. Okay, let's wait till everyone's in place. And 
we want you to pose, but not cut yet. We're not going to miss this important photo op. Everyone in place? for business. Enjoy your new Whitehall Library.